Alrighty, here are some instructions for the Llama 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 activity. I am choosing to do it digitally today and I am using the Sketches School app. So first things first, you're going to want to draw your fabulous llama. I think I'm going to use this tool here and I'm going to get myself blackity black. Alrighty, so I'm going to be starting and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit with my fabulous llama's eye. So I'm going to draw kind of a curved line and then I'm going to add some little eyelashes. I'm going to zoom back. Oops. Undo. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. Move it over. And now I'm going to draw the kind of top part of my llama's hat. So I'm going to start with a U shape and then an angled line. This is going to form my llama's head. Now I'm going to add a backward C shape and then a curved line that comes around and meets the line of my U. I'm going to add a small U behind the first one that I did. I can zoom in here a little bit to make sure that my lines are connecting. So now I've got two ears for my llama. I'm going to add two little lines on the inside there to put some details on the ears. As we're moving forward, I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to add a curved line for the muzzle of my llama. Then I'm going to add a smile and a little nostril, a little U shape there. And then I can move, oops, oh goodness, it's being sassy with me. Undo, sorry Ben. Nope, undo. You might find that it's a little sassy with you as you try to move around too. Now I'm going to add in a kind of bumpy line that'll be kind of like my llama's fur details here. And now I'm going to zoom way out because I'm getting ready to add on my llama's body. I'm going to start with a letter U shape, or not a letter U, sorry, a letter J shape for the first part of my llama's body. And then a little bit at the back of the head, I'm going to do kind of an L shape and then curve it around a little bit for my llama's butt. Now I'm gonna move on to doing some feet for my llama. My llama's gonna have the first leg that's kind of like a Y shape, and then has a little bit of a leg down further, and a little round foot. As you can see, my drawing is not perfect. It is okay if you're drawing has some issues too. I want the eraser, so I'm gonna erase a little bit of that line. All right, back to my marker. Now I'm gonna draw another, oh, actually, no, I'm gonna borrow the eraser for just a little bit. And now I'm gonna go back to the marker and I'm gonna draw another kind of Y shape with that round end for the front leg. And then I can connect with a curved line here. I can echo those marks for the line, the legs that are kind of in the back. And I think my llama needs a little bit more of a tail, so I'm gonna come in here and adjust my marks a little bit and do a little bit of a llama tail. Now that I've got my llama pretty much all drawn out, I'm ready to add in some details. So I'm gonna zoom in here, oopsies. I'm gonna zoom in here around the body and I'm gonna repeat a couple of this kind of U shape to be like a blanket. And then I'm gonna add some tassels to the blanket that my llama is wearing on its fabulous back. I can zoom back out and maybe I add in kind of a festive harness shape that my llama is wearing. A little bit too big. Let's zoom in here and oops, erased a little bit too much. And then we connect those dots and then zoom out. So this would be a pretty good drawing, but I would like you to take this a step further and think about your background. So where is your fabulous llama gonna be? Sorry about that, I backed out too far. I think my fabulous llama is on a road 
So I'm going to add some lines there to show my llama's on a road. And my llama is passing a fabulous saguaro cactus with some needles on that cactus. And I can zoom in and add some more details. Remember, I'm creating this digitally, but you are welcome to create your beautiful llama scene with paper and paint and markers and crayons or whatever materials you might have available to you as well. All right. Once you have drawn your fabulous llama, I would like you to fill things in. So I'm gonna grab my paint roller and I'm gonna grab a color. I think I'm gonna make my cactus lime green. Oops. <laughs> Fun fact, if you do not close your shape, you will end up making everything the color that you have selected. So, good idea to close your shape before you go to fill things in. So let's close this shape here. Okay, now we can try again with the filling it in. And I'm gonna switch to that lime green. redo and if I've got closed shapes I can fill some of these details in remember closed shapes are gonna allow you to fill things in real nice and easily and I need to finish up this drawing a little bit more so that's kind of what I'm looking for Fill things in, make things look fabulous. It's fast forward time, fast forward time. I fast forwarded so that you wouldn't have to see all the time that I took when I did my best work as an artist. I hope that you are taking your time to do your best work as an artist too. Remember, it's not something that comes together all at once. Sometimes we make mistakes. You'll notice that there are quite a few times in this extended work period where I did the undo button or I erased and I tried things again. It's okay if it doesn't work out perfectly the first time. It's not usually how it's going to go. Make sure that you are doing your best and taking your time as an artist while you are working on creating your very own fabulous llama.
And there you have it. Your completed llama drawing should be full of color. You should take your time. Make sure you're trying to do your best work as an artist. Remember, you may use whatever materials you have available to you. Enjoy creating. Can't wait to see what you make.